Here I'm going to show you how to probe the displacement at particular, you know, vertices along the midline. So if I go to solution, if I highlight solution in the tree and say probe, and I'll say deformation. Okay. And location method geometry is fine. Um, and if I select vertices, so I can, you know, select only vertices that are predefined in the geometry. So you'll have to put vertices wherever you want to probe. Um, so I'll probe at the right end and I'll say apply. And for result selection, I will say, actually, it doesn't like all. So let's say I want it along Y. And then if I say evaluate all results, okay, and look at results, it tells me it's 5.13 millimeters. Um, now, this is useful if you want to get specific values. Um, the other way you can, you know, usually get values is using the path that I showed you for bending moment. It doesn't work in the case of, um, of you know, again, 1D uh, models. So uh, let me show you that. So if I highlight solution in the tree, and I say deformation, and I'll say directional, and instead of geometry, you know, I can usually say path, and I'll select my path, midline, okay? And then if I, uh, and let's say I want the directional deformation along Y, and then I'll say evaluate all results, okay? Um, and if I look at, the tabular data, actually that worked, but I was trying this before, it didn't work. So, okay, that's the other way you can get values along the, um, along the, you know, along the path, um, and then you can actually go in and, and plot it. Unfortunately, this, uh, I don't know a way to get the, um, the rotations, um, but you can definitely, it looks like you can get the displacements. Um, save your project.